What's happening, everybody? It's your girl Duffy back at you with another video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve these nice and luscious jumbo passion twists and this nice, pretty black and burgundy color. These are one of my favorite go to protective styles. Um, I've done this style so many times, I've done it in two different colors. I will insert some pictures here. So yeah, I've done this style so many times, but this is the first time that um, I've done them um, as big as I did them. It's something to do really, really quick. Um, it took me about uh, four hours to do this style, um, and that includes all the time it took for the parting and to put in them in rubber bands and to um, install them. I did the rubber band method, um, so I installed them and then twist them down and absolutely adore this look um like i said i wanted something quick and easy so that way i'm not walking around looking like a gremlin no more because my man tell me i'm fine but he's supposed to tell me i'm fine you know what i mean i need to be actually looking fine so if you guys stay tuned i will show you how i achieve this look all right, so um, I'm using the Harlem 125 brand, and this is the Kima Spring Twist, and it is in the color uh, T1B slash burgundy. I got this from my uh, local beauty supply store. It was $10 a pack. I only used three, three and a quarter of a pack. They only took about six strands out of this pack, and then I pre-package it back up so I can, you know, save it. Uh, one thing I noticed about this hair, it's it's super fluffy and it's really, really soft and like silky and um, I really like that about it. Um, it's not tough. Like um, as soon as you touch it, you can instantly like pull it apart and, you know, work with it a lot better. Um, and I really do like that um, about this hair. So the next time that I... Um, do this style i will be getting this this um hair i've already done all of the back wanted them to be really big and really bulky it's still pretty lightweight and bouncy and i like that they're a little stretchy when i first put them in because of the way that i did them i had to use more strands towards the end because i wanted them to be a little longer um if you want them in um, the way that I did, um, they would come to about shoulder length, um, just based on the length that's on the package, you can see that they're going to be about shoulder length, um, so I used extra strands towards the end, just added more hair so that they can be a little longer, now they're about, um, a little past bra strap length, but, um, I absolutely love this color, and, um, yeah, let me show you guys how I... I did this one. I left the last one here. Like I said, I did. I went ahead and uh, washed and conditioned my hair. Um, I used some of this. Which is one of this? The Murray's Edge Wax. Um, this is the Extreme Hold one, and um, I used that to help with um, getting them into the rubber bands. I did do the rubber band method, and I do have my crochet needle to help. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do, is like I said, I wanted them to be super jumbo, and so I wanted them to be nice and full like they are. So I took four strands, see, one, two, three, four, and I'm not going to separate them yet. I noticed trying a couple of different methods to achieve the look that I want, that starting them off with before you stretch them um, works better for me. So I'm going to insert the hook like so, pull this through, make sure it's not all of the ends are pulled through, there we go, the last one wanted to be difficult, there we go. Uh, so the rubber bands are not too tight because I don't like a lot of tension on my roots. Take a pretty good amount and 
place that on the tips of my hair. I was like sticking out right there but I also have a way to fix that as well so once I get my braid nice and secure I'm going to split this in half and now I'm going to separate the ends I've gotten to a point where the majority of this is burgundy. I'm going to take the other two. This is the one earlier that I separated for you guys. Show you how soft it is. I'm going to separate this. That's one strand, and this is two. take it here I'm gonna separate this in half and then from this one side you guys can see I'm going to twist it here to combine this side with this one and then do the same thing with the other one twist it not too tight because you don't want that part to be thin and then twist upwards is what I'm doing I don't know if you guys can see but I'm twisting upwards to lock that part in and to make it just as bulky as the rest of it. And to cover that because it's gonna bother me I know some people it wouldn't bother but I have this piece of strand here that I cut in half because I had to do this to another piece Oops. I'm gonna separate it pluck it out and then I'm gonna take the the blunter in because this is the the end of the strand and this is where I cut it in half it's a little blunter any other one is blunter a word and I'm gonna put it about here because I don't want it too far down and just like if it was a faux lock I'm going to wrap it at the base and then work my way down and then like just make sure I wrap it around like I do it loose everywhere else but tight around the piece of hair that I want to conceal and because the hair is messy see then it kind of covers everything up and then very loosely just give me the rest of it stretch it out real good that scrunch it up so that it's still nice and scrunched up like it was before see now you can barely even see where I fixed it so yes this is what it's looking like finished 
I actually don't have an edge control brush, but while I was doing this, my edge just kind of fell out a little bit. So, I'm gonna redo that. Cause I was gonna pull them out anyway. Don't have an edge brush still. I haven't found one that I liked, if that makes sense. I know it sounds dumb, and I see them all the time. The one that has like the little comb on the end, and then like the little brush. They all just look at like look weird to me. I know that they serve a purpose. Uh, my sister has one, so I know I've used hers before. And I don't know. It's just something something about it. So I have a comb here. And I'm going to use the small end. And I'm just going to guard this. Girl, stop being lazy and go and get your toothbrush. Okay, I went to go get my handy dandy little brush. It is nice and yucky for you. And gonna fix those edges yes There we go, all done. That is about it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Um, if you have any other questions about look or about um, anything else, please comment below. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification button so that you are notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time in my video. Again, thank you for watching. Check me out.